hello everyone it's me asmarif welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the secret of the blue uh, leaves that means uh, the leaves or the uh, tree was uh, green but i made it blue. so uh, lots of filters and lots of uh, like uh, actions in the youtube channel or youtube but uh, i'll provide you the xmp file which is the camera raw filter preset and i made it for you guys and let's see what i have done here and what is the secret to make the leaves color uh, like blue so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i'm just deleting those things press ctrl j and go to the filter camera filter so camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop i think this one is a blessing thing for editors who just uh, do the photo editing in a photoshop just because of all the panels in same window and uh, the same uh, different types of tabs which is very helpful and those who are the user of the creative cloud version these plugins is by default for them and if you are the user of the cs version and uh, don't be upset uh, adobe has the manual installation file and i'll provide you that file download link so please check out my video description from here you are getting here a small menu we'll go to the load settings option and red and blue i just given the name red and blue and open it up yeah just that so if you need to adjust anything you can just do that here everything just nice amazing if you need you can change the warm temperature tint everything so let's see the settings why i have done the settings like that i will explain everything detailing so here the temperature minus three and tint minus three temperature you know that the minus value temperature is cool color so this is the cool color you just know that and if i make it plus color it will be like that so if i make it like that it will be again in a green color but i made it in a minus three for the cool color just because of blue is a cool color here and the tint as well here if i made it like that it will be like uh, uh, super cool or like uh, some here that is the aqua color will appear but here the balance for that i made it minus three and exposure i didn't touch that contrast so you can depend um, uh, you can make the contrast um, according to your photo shoot so for this case i am using here plus 8 and the shadow that is uh, plus 21 that's important for this photo you can increase the shadow or decrease the shadow it's up to you and it's up to your choice so i made it here one that is not the um, major issue to make change the blue color uh, from the green so clarity plus 16 that's good and tone curve here i use a blue tone curve like that just lock over here and made it like upper side in from the middle and the green red i didn't touch anything so here detail sharpening so you can use that like uh, if you want to reduce the um, luminance of noise or noise reduction you can use that or you can increase the sharpness you can use that so main thing is in the hsl panel you know hsl is hue saturation and luminance hue for h saturation for is and luminous for l that's why the tab is hsl so here are three tabs you for the color build you can get the color whatever you want like red to pink orange to yellow yellow to green yellow to green or aqua aqua to blue and aqua to purple like that so you are getting all the colors in the hue panels and saturation is how deep will be the color suppose if you increase the value of the saturation it will be more deeper deeper and deeper and the luminance is how light will be the color that means how blink will be the color and uh, the eye friendly will be the color so here the at first hue what i have done here here plus 26 red hue and just because of i made a little bit orange type uh, in a left side if you go to the left side it will be pink or 
magenta and if you go to the right side it will be orange so that's why i'm just made it like in a, in a moderated value that is 26 for the this type of moderated color if i zoom it in you'll just appear here you'll just get the full scenario so orange i made it minus 12 just because of uh, here if i made it like that it will be more uh, like reddish type in a face if i make it like that it will be like uh, colorless of the face but in this value it will be like perfect moderated color in a face that's good and yellow so yellow value i made it plus 100 just because of i just made it in a, in a like a, in a green color if i made it like that it will be the flower will be like a yellowish but i made it like that that's good you can make it like that or not it's up to you uh, if you need you can just make it like that the uh, flower will appear or yellow color will be appear but uh, here yeah that's good you can do that and green color here i made it like this so this one was the color i just made it in the plus 100 value and then you are getting that this one is the secret and the saturation as well you have to decrease the saturation of the green and luminance as well you have to moderate it um, like um, the polished way so after that you are getting that aqua color if i made it aqua color it will be like normal green but if i made it like that it will be the bluish green or uh, blue green so that's the secret of the blue color of the leaves so here the uh, here is another things the split toning you know that the highlight and shadow color what will be the highlight color and what will be the shadow color that defined with the split toning so split toning value depends on the, the color temperature or the uh, tint you can just add any kind of color in your photographs if you need here highlights value if i make it like that it will be not good but 207 is the uh, blue aqua middle of the point that is the 207 and saturation 13 i didn't made it uh, too much if i made it too much what will happen yeah all the thing is blue and blue but you have to define the separate color from the background and model it is the thing to define or like precisely present your photographs shadow that is 218 and if i just change it out it will be like no that's not good so 218 is the perfect shadow color from the hue and saturation 13 if i made it like that yeah that is the purple color so i don't like that and then no lens correction issue over here and uh, i didn't use the uh, effects if you need you can add some dehaze or the vignetting and the camera calibration this one is most most important this one is most important after this hsl panel just because of you are getting here three primary colors which is the red primary and green primary and blue primary so let's see the value what i have done here and why i have done here red you know that red started with the pink and and in a orange so i made a value which is 46 and saturated 19 if i made it like that it will be like dull type or fantasy type but i made it like this you can just change it, the value and you can make you can do the experiment with your photographs um, in a camera or filter it's amazing for you the green primary color i made it 100 for uh, if i made it like that it will be yellowish green but i just wanted to make it the aqua green aqua color that's why i just made like that so uh, primary green started with the yellow and end in a aqua that's why i just made it and the saturation i made it minus 38 for the um, desaturated this one and blue primary color i didn't touch that after that i got this result the before one and after one before and after so um, some of my fans ask me uh, make a preset make a actions but i will tell you uh, lots of uh, actions in the market 
but uh, no other channel just uh, published this type of um, camera raw xmp file so i made it for you guys and this one is free of cost so one thing is that let's see uh, if i apply this one in another photo what will be the result so go to the file and open up here are another stock image i just given this um, uh, i just post in my community in a youtube community so i'm just opening it up is control j filter camera filter and go to the load settings options and red and blue so you're getting the same thing if you need you can change the exposure it will be amazing for the picture uh, exposure depends on the different types of photographs uh, so uh, if you need you can change the uh, exposure and here are lots of options to uh, change everything or assumption to add anything change anything uh, in an action you can't do anything uh, but uh, in this preset you can do the settings customized uh, like you now whatever you want the customization so hope that you learn a lot from this video and hope that uh, this preset will help you out more and more and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and more amazing thing is coming soon and we made a, a video which is two photographers one model challenge so that video is editing done and hope that it will publish or upload soon in a youtube thanks for watching my video tutorial until the next video i may see when you signing out today bye bye